Okay, peeps, so we're back inside and we're ready to do a little bit more arrangement. So, okay, so we've basically got our blocks here. We've got, so far, we've got this block zero, which is uh, sounding like this. Now, that's got too much stuff going on. Now, I remember how I used to work back in the day. I used to have everything in sequence. So, as I was writing blocks, I'd want them to correspond to what's happening in the track. So, I can just easily put together an arrangement afterwards. Right? So what I'm going to do from here, I'm going to get number one. I'm going to go back to the block section again. And I'm going to go to block. I'm going to go copy again. And then this is the drop with the baseline and all that, yeah? So I'll go back to my blocks. I'm going to insert new, which is going to be block three. Again, actually, no. Undo that. I can't even undo. <laughs> so I'm going to go to here. I'm going to delete number two. I guess yes and I'm gonna append new so that goes after it yeah then I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna paste the block buffer again and this is with everything in it but obviously on this one now I don't want that sample playing here All right so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete that by pressing the delete key because I don't want that loop playing there and I don't want that loop playing there yeah but that's where my Kamru boy is, so I need that there. Now, I'm going to also have to turn off this channel because uh, Octomed doesn't kind of know that you don't want anything to play because you don't want the previous loop rolling over onto that. So what you do is you turn on the edit there and you go F, 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 Tommy F, 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 big up me. So that's the F, F, F command, which hopefully, if I put it in the right place, it will just it will stop stop it playing. Otherwise, you'll get a bleed over at that point. So now we've got block one, and now on block one, we want to get rid of the bass line there. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to go to track. I'm going to press Alt and left to get into that track there. I'm going to right click here, go to track, just cut, cut that out, right? So, so now we've got that sequence there. We've got that sequence, and we've got number three with the bass line drops. So now we're going to do a little bit of a pony arrangement so you can get a drift of what you've got to do yeah now we're going to go into the song this is the play sequence editor so you're going to have let's say for example um, you're going to insert current right so you've got current block there which is what okay so wait a minute let's just do one more thing because I you know we're gonna I want to have I don't want to start with that loop straight away uh, or maybe I do want to start with that loop straight away maybe I want to start like like that Oh my goodness, this is the state of that. Road, boy. That's still not loop right, man. <laughs> it sounds okay in a song. It actually sounds quite tight. That's so mad, man. We were just sport. We're sport now, man. I'm telling you. Right, so we're going to start like that. Yeah, so we're going to have a bit of that with Kamru Boy. So what we got to do, let's go back. Let's copy this block. Right, let's copy this block. Right, man. Okay, so copy this block. Go to here. And we're going to start. So let's just uh, insert new. Insert into sequence probably needed it. All right, never mind. So that's one. That's that. That's that. That's that. And that's that. All right, let's paste that. Oh, there you go. It, it did work, yeah? Did it? I believe so. Okay, so we're going to go here. We're going to paste it, block, paste, bosh, and we got. All right, so we're going to do that. We just want to play the block, so we're going to play block. Okay, so here we're going to just delete off that dub loop. Gone. Get rid of that, and then we should have a nice little block. There you go, so a couple of them. In fact, let me save it. Let me save it because these sort of things can end up going pear shaped, and then I've got to do all that again, which I don't want to do again. No way. 
All right, so I've got that starting off zero. Okay, so I'm, what am I okay, so the song we have to you should be going to song right. Okay, there we go. So sequence. So let's start with sequence zero to start with. Put zero in there. Get rid of that. Put zero there. Yeah, I could call it intro. All right, I'm getting fancy now. Right now, let's see. Bosh, I don't even know if I've done that right, but yeah, okay. Oh, you can turn off follow. Okay, cool. All right, so that's first of all, we're going to do that insert, insert, insert. So this sequence is this sequence is going to be number <laughs> zero. So we're going to have a couple of zeros. I remember, yeah, that's it. It's come back to me now. And then we just go into and says, like that. So we have a couple of zeros, a couple of ones, one, one, a couple of, t oops, a couple of ones, a couple of twos, a couple of threes. There you go. Right? It's a basic arrangement. Let's have a look. <laughs> As you see, it's playing through now. So where's number four? We should have number four then. Hold on. Number three. So it's two threes and then a four. If there is if, if four does exist, hopefully that would be the one with the baseline. There you go. Right, I'm gonna play it from top. Okay, this should be dropping that. Let's go. Okay, so on this now, you probably want to change the drums up a bit, you know. So it's not the same old, uh, you know, all that pshang, pshang, pshang business has been doing that all the way in the intro. So you might want to change that up. Put your highlights back on so you, so you know what you're doing. Uh, yeah, you've got tracks. Okay. That's another thing as well. I'll show you a couple of bits. You can make you more tracks as well. But the, remember in mind, the more tracks you put, I think uh, the quality goes worse. And also, it's more for MIDI uh, for, for the best results. Uh, let's have a look. So um, we want highlights again. Get that block highlight. Stick that to four. Put that in there. Um, go like that. Let's have a look. Right, get rid of that. So we got some. We want to get rid of all that so it's not boring. Let's see. Right. So, so let's copy that to five. So block copy. Copy, new block, Bosch, uh, append, new block, uh, go to our blocks, put that there, number five, paste. It's quite a, you know, it can be tedious when you compare it to how we used to work, but back then, man, this was the, you know, this the business, man.
Okay, so we've got a nice little section there. So we put four and five there, back to back. Go back, let's have a listen to what that song plays. <laughs> Let's do. Let's get. Let's get chop that up a bit. Bit better there, because it's kind of gone a bit boring. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so we ah here we go. That's why because we need four and we need five in there. That's I thought something was weird. Okay, so let's try that. So from here, let's go back to song. Let's go four. So where that four starts kicking off there, that's where the action starts. So let's go back to about there, and then go um, continue song. <laughs> So from here, let's, let's give a bit more, bit, bit more cutting up there. I think my, my batteries are going on the mic. I have to change them. Okay, so let's go back, quickly hear that. And we'll try again. Okay, continue song. Alright. So you guys, you get the drift now, yeah? So that is that so far. That's a bit of arrangement. Obviously, you can create more blocks, do more stuff, uh, you know, mix and match, experiment. And uh, yeah, um, smash the like button. I'll get to 50 likes. I'm going to show you more cool Amiga music beat making tricks. Take care. God bless. Peace.